whatever possession we gain by our sword cannot be sure or lasting, but the love gained by kindness and moderation is certain and durable. I am dying from the treatment of too many physicians. Heaven cannot brook two sons, nor earth two masters. Sex and sleep alone make me conscious that I am mortal. How happy had it been for me had I been slain in the battle. It had been far nobler to have died the victim of the enemy than fall a sacrifice to the rage of my friends. Shall I, that have destroyed my preservers, return home? At the end, when it's over, all that matters is what you've done. Bury my body, and don't build any monuments. Keep my hands out so the people know the one who won the world had nothing in hand when he died. True love never has a happy ending, because there is no ending to true love. How should a man be capable of grooming his own horse, or of furnishing his own spear and helmet, if he allows himself to become unaccustomed to tending even his own person, which is his most treasured belonging? I do not pilfer victory. For my own part, I would rather excel in knowledge of the highest secrets of philosophy than in arms. I had rather excel others in the knowledge of what is excellent than in the extent of my power and dominion. May God keep you away from the venom of the cobra, the teeth of the tiger, and the revenge of the Afghans. Who does not desire such a victory by which we shall join places in our kingdom, so far divided by nature? and for which we shall set up trophies in another conquered world. I would rather live a short life of glory than a long one of obscurity. His father is governor of media, and though he has the greatest command given him of all the rest of my generals, he still covetously desires more, and my being without issue spurs him on to this wicked design but Philodas takes the wrong measures. Soldiers, I had lately liked to have been taken from you by the attempt of a few desperate men, but by the grace and providence of the gods, I am still preserved. False reports have many times done as great things as true courage and resolution. So far as I am concerned, I could not be accused of having set eyes, or having wished to set eyes, upon Darius' wife. On the contrary, I have refused even to listen to those who spoke to me of her beauty. My father will anticipate everything. He will leave you and me no chance to do a great and brilliant deed. With the right attitude, self-imposed limitations vanish. Let us conduct ourselves so that all men wish to be our friends and all fear to be our enemies. Toil and risk are the prices of glory, but it is a lovely thing to live with courage and die leaving everlasting fame. God must have loved Afghans, because he made them so beautiful. Every light is not the sun. There is something noble in hearing myself feel spoken of when I am doing well. There are so many worlds, and I have not yet conquered even one. I do not steal the victory. I am not afraid of an army of lions led by a sheep. I am afraid of an army of sheep led by a lion. A tomb now suffices him for whom the world was not enough. 
are there no more worlds that I might conquer? I send you gaffs of mustard seed, that you may taste and acknowledge the bitterness of my victory. On their side more men are standing, on ours more will fight. I consider not what Parmenio should receive, but what Alexander should give. The end and object of conquest are to avoid doing the same thing as the conquered. I am dying with the help of too many physicians. At the end, when it's over, all that matters is what you've done. Those who have the courage to conquer fear are made free, and those who are conquered by it are made to suffer until they have the courage to defeat it, or death takes them. Each moment free from fear makes a man immortal. Remember, the conduct of each depends on the fate of all. But truly, if I were not Alexander, I would be Diogenes. I treasure lies in my friends. A tomb now suffices him for whom the whole world was not sufficient. When we give someone our time, we actually give a portion of our life that we will never take back. There are no more worlds to conquer. Remember upon the conduct of each depends on the fate of all. I am indebted to my father for living, but to my teacher for living well. How great are the dangers I face to win a good name in Athens. Without knowledge, skill cannot be focused. Without skill, strength cannot be brought to bear, and without strength, Knowledge may not be applied. At the end, when it's over, all that matters is what you've done. I foresee a great funeral contest over me. Are you still to learn that the end and perfection of our victories are to avoid the vices and infirmities of those whom we subdue? There is nothing impossible to him who will try.